this environment of learning data is really an international issue uh, and that the effects that are that are happening and, and the changes that are happening in Europe in terms of data regulation and data use uh, really do have international ripple effects. So uh, maintaining that global consciousness and the sense of international cooperation and solidarity is really uh, what I hope to, to bring today to remind everyone from the UNESCO perspective. So international cooperation for local innovation. There's this sense that there are so many actors working worldwide in the space, and we really have to get those, those bodies, those ed tech companies, the private actors working with local governments to understand the local context, to socially contextualize their solutions, and then deliver them locally for a specific purpose there in that local context. So international views for local innovation. Smart and responsible use is purposeful and has uh, is limited to that purpose. So it means that there's a targeted, a specific reason for the use of that data and that it's used only for that reason and not for sort of third party or commercial uh, commercial gain. Data for learning and, and education data in general is really a double-edged sword. It's not something that's inherently good or inherently bad. On the one hand, it can offer immense potential to, to planners and managers to, to make smarter decisions in their, in their sector management. Uh, it can help teachers and then it can also uh, personalize learning journeys. But on the other hand, uh, if misused, it really does pose a risk to our international, to our to our human rights that are internationally agreed upon, uh, not only for, for adults and lifelong learners, but for children specifically.